Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, welcome, welcome, Catherine. Hello, how are you? Hello, can you hear me? Hi. Hello, Catherine, can you hear me? Hello, Edwin, can you hear me? Hello, David, can you hear me? Hello, teacher, yes. Okay, excellent, excellent, thank you. Welcome back to your class. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? Are you ready? Tired, teacher. And tired. I uh, ready for the class. Why are you tired? For the time. <laughs> for the work. Okay. Okay. David, how do you feel today? Hello, Laura. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, Jose. Hello, Laura. Welcome. Hello, Jose. Hello, David. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Edwin. Welcome, welcome. All right. Back in action. Hello, Lorena. Hello, Melanie. Hello, George. Hello, teacher. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Okay, Thank let's you. get let's get started, guys. We're gonna go ahead and move forward from the information that we were looking at good in evening. the previous class. Hello, good evening. Uh, we were looking at my sister works downtown. So for this activity, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the one for irregular verbs. Aquí fue donde paramos ayer and irregular verbs. statements can everybody hear regular verbs can everybody hear Let me start by explaining verbs can everybody hear two type of verbs can everybody hear and irregular everybody here regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English and irregular verbs are a small portion and everybody of here verbs that exist in the English. can everybody hear yes Yes, okay. teacher. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form simple present statements using irregular verbs. Let me start by explaining verbs. In English, we have two types of verbs. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English and irregular verbs are a small portion of all the verbs that exist in the English language. We need to learn both in order to achieve English fluency. In this case, we will talk about three irregular verbs that are used all the time to express ourselves. Have, do, and go. Let's analyze the chart on the screen. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Let's take a look at the examples on the left-hand side of the chart. I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. What we're trying to illustrate in this case is that when forming simple present statements and whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they, the verbs will not change at all. If we look at the examples on the right hand side of the chart, we want to demonstrate that whenever we talk about the third person, he, she, or it, these verbs, have, do, and go, will change. And they change as follows. Have equals to has, do equals to does, 
go equals to goes. Let's analyze the examples on both sides of the chart. I have a bike. Notice how the verb have changes whenever we talk about my father. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. Notice how that changes whenever we talk about my mother. My mother does a lot of work at home. The same with my parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Now it's your turn to practice these three. Okay, guys. So, aquí eh, es similar a lo que estábamos viendo ayer. Eh, si tú dices, por ejemplo, I work. I work. Eh, y si lo uso en tercera persona, ¿cómo lo voy a decir? He works. 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 So le ponemos una S. Oh, yeah. so, uh -huh. so estos son eh, los verbos regulares. So, los que solo se les agrega S. Lo que vamos a ver hoy son verbos irregulares, que son verbos okay. que cambian, cambian la escritura. El have se cambia a has, el do se cambia a does, y el go se cambia a goes. Ajá, por ejemplo, tú dices, I have a car. Yo tengo un carro. En tercera persona sería he, he has, has, he has a car, right? En tercera a persona. Car. En el caso de do, se convierte en does. Por ejemplo, tú dices, I do my homework. Yo hago mi tarea. Homework. En tercer persona, ¿cómo sería? He, no, 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 he does, does, he does his homework. Ok. Y el go, por ejemplo, tú dices, I go to the gym ¿Cómo sería en tercera persona? He goes goes, goes Go. to the gym Alright So, in this example quiero que me den por lo menos cuatro o cinco ejemplos eh, los van a escribir acá in the discussion forum over here, you're going to go añade una publicación and you're going to write e -re oops, e irregular verbs. Y va a poner aquí sus oraciones and then you're going to set enviar. Any questions? Any questions? Do you have any no, questions? I don't have any. I don't have a question. Okay. I'm going to share them with you over here on the on the chat, and I'm also going to share them with you on the WhatsApp, so that you can have it there as well. Give me one second. I'm going to open the WhatsApp. All right, so this is, oh, okay. Kathy says she doesn't have internet. Teacher, teacher, a question. Right. Yes. Eh, no sé si ya pasó lista, es que Tengo super mal el internet y no me deja conectarme de la computadora. Uh, no, 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 no. Aún no. Eh, normalmente okay. como a las nueve y media paso la lista. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Yes, of course. All right. Uh, everybody listen and repeat. I work. I work. I work. He I work. works. 
I have a car. I have a car. He has a car. He has a car. He has a car. I do my homework. I do my homework. Do my homework. He does his homework. He does his homework. I go to the gym. I go to the gym. He goes to the gym. He goes to the gym. Okay. So I want you to give me a sentence. Me va a dar una oración con la palabra has. La palabra does. Y la palabra goes. Esos tres verbos. Por lo menos serían unas tres o cuatro oraciones. Y las va a escribir abajo en el discussion forum. A question, teacher. Yes, Catherine. Serían tres de cada, de cada verbo o uno? No, no. Puede ser una de has, dos de does y una de goes. O viceversa, una de goes, dos de goes, una de does y dos de has. Okay, teacher, thank you. Yes, of course. Another question? Puede ser pregunta. I'm sorry? Puede ser pregunta, ¿verdad? Eh, para este ejemplo, solo oraciones. Okay. Uh -huh. Teacher, aquí en el chat vamos a poner las, las oraciones. O allá eh, en la... No, no, las oraciones las van a escribir aquí en el discussion forum en la sección 1.6. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Aparte de las que no había dejado o es lo mismo? Eh, estas no las habíamos hecho. De, no, perdón, de, de lo que explicó al principio de los ejemplos que nos dio. Correct. Vamos a hacer una. una en... Primera persona y una tercera persona. Eh, en este caso, no. En este caso, solo en, ter en la tercera persona. Ok, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, is everybody ready? Are you ready? Un participante puede compartir la pantalla. Five. Ready, let's do this. Ok, eh, no ingresaron a trabajar con su grupo. Eh, veo que Christian, Jessica, Austin, Lorena, Catherine, Ernesto, George, eh, Juan Carlos, eh, Brian, George, Jessica, eh, Lorena, Austin, José Alcide. Uh, we got another one. Let me see. Oh, there it is. So we're going to put this one with. We're going to go to number nine. Okay, number eight. We're going to put it on number eight. Good job. Thank you, Ernesto. Welcome, Ernesto. Uh, we're going to have. Okay, George Francisco, Jose Alcides and Catherine Yvonne are gonna work together. Uh, Christian, David, and Jose work in pairs. Austin, Eric, and Catherine work together. Uh, we're gonna have Elba, Lorena, and Melanie working in a group. 
Ana Esmeralda and Juan Carlos work in a group. And Brian, Edwin, and Laura work in a group. And we're going to put Ernesto in group number one. Excellent. Hello, George Francisco. Hello, George Francisco. Hola. How are you, George Francisco? We're going to put you in pairs in El Siete. Lo vamos a poner con David and Christy. And we're going to put this one on nine. All right, so we have here uh, Catherine Yvonne, Brian Francisco. Catherine Yvonne, Brian Francisco. All right, you two can work together. Put this one on nine. And Brian, we're going to put you on number one. Hello, Catherine Yvonne. I think you have bad internet connection. Uh, one student can share the pantalla. One student can share the pantalla. Hey, Cristian, manténgase en silencio porque se escucha una conversación eh, cada vez que le quita el, el micrófono. One student can share. One student can share the pantalla. One student can share the pantalla. Este, yo soy en teléfono, por eso se me complica un poco este, compartirla oh. yo, pero creo que alguno de ellos dos podría compartirla y se puede se realizar la actividad. Correct. That is correct. ¿Quién la quiere compartir? Solo le tiene que dar compartir pantalla abajito. Okay. Uh, is everybody finished? Is yeah. everybody finished? Yes. Okay. We're going to check. Let me hear your examples. Quiero escuchar su ejemplo. Uno sería, your brother has a motorcycle. Okay. Good. Your brother has a motorcycle. Good. Yeah. Another example. <clears throat> Another example. She has a red car. She has a red car. Good. Good. She does the homework. He does his homework. She goes to the office today. She goes to the office today. Okay. Uh, do we say she, oh yeah, she goes to the office today. Okay. That's good. Another example. Another example. Do you have another example? I have an example. Okay, what is your example? Go ahead, what is the example? Can you hear me? No more examples? No more, teacher. Oh, pensé que dijo, I have another example. 
No, I haven't. Oh, okay. I don't have. I Sorry. don't have more examples. I don't have more examples. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and come back to the class. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and check with the group. Close all. Uh, let me have Ana Ruth. Let me have your examples. Teacher, hola. Hello, Catherine. Hola. How are you? Eh, Hola, teacher. Fíjese que en mi grupo todos teníamos problemas para compartir pantalla, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Porque yo tengo el internet malo ahorita porque acá está lloviendo. Okay. Entonces, no pudimos trabajar en la plataforma porque tenemos problemas. La compañera tiene problemas con su plataforma, yo por el internet. Entonces, pero las hicimos y las tenemos anotadas en el cuaderno. No sé si podemos después ponerla en la, en la plataforma. Uh, yes, of course. Eh, okay. me, ¿Me quiere compartir los ejemplos que escribieron? Ok, teacher. Mm -hmm. eh, yo tengo, he, he has two brothers. He has two brothers, good. She doesn't like pizza. She doesn't like pizza, ok. Maria goes to the gym every day. Maria goes to the gym every day, perfect. Y mi compañera tiene otras tres y así nos repartimos el trabajo, una de cada una, tres, tres y tres. Ok, that's perfect. Ok, teacher, thank you. Good teacher. job, Catherine Callejas, excellent. Dígame. No, 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 no. Austin, Austin, <laughs> ¿cuáles son sus ejemplos? Es una pregunta, teacher. ¿Va que para decir ella lava los platos o trastes? Se podría decir como ella está haciendo, ella hace, no, no, quiero ver. He does the dishes. He does the dishes. He does the dishes. No, oh, pues sí. No andaba tan mal. Thank you, teacher. Ok, very good. Eh, ¿Alguien más que quiera compartir sus ejemplos? Hola, yo. Ok, Elba. Ok. Uh, I have a class at night. I go to the church. Okay. He does he get up early. Very good. Very good. All right. That's okay. Eh, vamos a vamos a hacerlas en tercer persona. ¿Cómo puedo decir el go en tercer persona? Go. Go, yes. go. 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 Si ella go. dice, si ella dice, ella dice, go. My, my help. I, my I go to church. ¿Cómo puedo usar el go mm -hmm. en tercer en con en tercera persona. She, yeah, she goes to church. She, she goes to church. Ok. Excelente. Así sería. También right. sería de ir a la playa. She ah, okay. goes to the beach. Right. She goes to the beach. To the beach. Very good. She goes to the beach. Very good. All right. Alguien más que quiera compartir sus ejemplos. Yo, por favor. Okay, David. Este, my father takes the train at 7 p.m. Okay. My father... My father takes the train 
at 7 p.m. Perfect. Ese sería takes. Pero, vaya, ahora la pregunta es, takes es un verbo regular o es un verbo irregular? Takes. Eh, creo que es regular. Es Porque regular. Se le agrega la S. Ajá, correcto. Vaya, pero ahorita estamos practicando verbos irregulares. ¿Alguien me puede dar un ejemplo con un verbo irregular? He has, eh, uh, eh, what mean, how do you say este rancho en in, in inglés? Eh, rancho sería farm. 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 Eh, farm. He has... O por ejemplo, un gallinero. Farm in the beach. He has a farm in the beach. He has... 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 In the playa. Ah, usted está hablando de casa de playa. Ajá. Ah, ok. Ahí sería... Ajá. Ya, yeah, no sé. No se traduce ranch. Ajá. Y ahí sería... He has a, a beach house. Así se dice. He has a beach house. Porque okay. un ranch es como una granja. Donde... Un ranch. Ajá, uh -huh, a ranch. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah, that's right. So ahí sería, he has a beach house. He has, he has, he has a, beach. a beach house. Ok. Eh, sí, yo me la estoy inventando porque no, no me carga la plataforma para poderse la enviar. Entonces. Oh. All right. Las puede escribir, eh, así como dice Catherine, la puede escribir en su libreta. Y después de la clase, usted ya se puede conectar a su plataforma y digitarlas ahí. Sí, Catherine, dígame. Eh, Catherine Callejas. Teacher, levantó la mano. a question. Eh, fíjese que mmm, yo he hecho las actividades, ¿verdad? Y he visto los videos, pero todavía no les he puesto los comentarios abajo. Eh, no sé si al que, o sea, mañana van a revisar lo que es la plataforma, ¿verdad? That's right. No That's sé right. si, digamos, este, yo mañana eh, los pongo todos y han revisado, ¿haya problema o lo tengo que poner antes que revisen? No, that's okay, that's okay. Eh, usted los puede hacer eh, mañana. That's not a problem. Ok, teacher, thank you. Yes. Ok, guys, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and take a look at the next section. In the next section, we are going to be moving forward. Todos hicieron ya la section 1.7. 1.7. Yes. Yes. yes, okay, okay. Yes. Uh, let me have Esmeralda number one, please. Quisiera que me lea la oración con la respuesta. My parents, I ha my parents um, has a house in the suburbs. Eh, recuerde que si el ver, el sujeto es plural, no aplica eh. el tercer persona singular. So, en este caso, parents es plural, porque lleva S. Plural. Ah, so, ¿cuál sería la opción correcta? My parents has or my parents have. Oh. My parents es de my parents. Mis padres de. Uh -huh. Sería have. Ah, very good. Have, have. El has solo es para tercer persona. ¿Verdad? Digamos que yo digo, eh, mi papá tiene un pickup. My father has a pickup. Allí puedo usar el has porque estoy refiriéndome a my father, una persona. A my father. Pero si oh, digamos que ya estoy hablando de mi father and my mother. I am do. Ahí, ahí es plural. Ahí sería has. my father and my mother. My has has my o have. Have. ¿Cuál, have. ¿Cuál voy a poner? Have. 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 Very good. Have. Porque ahí ya es plural. Ok. Good. Good. Thank you. All right. Eh, Kat, hi. Eh, yo no sé la confusión que se tiene tal vez es como nos hemos aprendido 
Aquí en las terceras personas sería she, he, and it. Y al relacionarlas como con my parents o my mother and my father, eh, como que nos confundimos en eso con las terceras personas. Es mi opinión personal, porque a mí me pasa eso. Ah, ok. Vaya, en este caso, si relacionamos he, eh, she, y it, sabemos que estas son third. Que las personas son singular. Person, singular. singular. Okay. Vaya, ahora si yo estamos hablando en plural, eh, sería we, I, eh, they, they, I, I, y you, en you. primera persona, eh, sabemos que no se aplica la regla para la tercera persona. So, en el caso de, digamos, por ejemplo, my parents, my parents, uh -huh. mis padres, mis parientes. Eh, ¿cuál, ¿cuál pronombre podría ser reemplazado? Ellos. They. Day. 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 Ok. Day. So, si, so, si aquí yo pongo day. They have. Ah, ok. Ahí sería they have. ¿Por qué? Porque es plural. So, lo mismo con el sujeto plural. My parents es un sujeto plural. So, plural. vamos a usar el have. Ok, eh, vamos con Melanie. Melanie, la que sigue, por favor. My mom. Ok. Um, my mom and dad go downtown to work. Perfect. Aquí vemos que my mom and dad es plural. Ella dice go porque no se aplica. El AS downtown to work. Perfect. Perfect. That is correct. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Melanie. Uh, Delmi Carias. Okay. Delmi Carias. The next one, please. <sighs> Podría mostrarme las teacher. Yeah. Sería uh, I. Uh, right here, right here. Sí. My la opción es, las opciones cuáles son? Eh, do y does. Okay, sería my I do. Parents. My parents are very fast. BC. So, BC. 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 So I do a lot of I work do. at home. Very good. I do. I do, perfect. I do. I do is perfect. Good, good. Thank you. All right, let's go with Elba. Eh, Catherine Callejas levantó la mano. Hola, hola. Ah, perdón. No, teacher, para participar después. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Go ahead. Usted, usted puede ser la siguiente. Eh, my brother doesn't ¿Qué, qué le queda la mía? With, with us. He has... Eh, one second, one second. Eh, guys, uh -huh. les voy a pedir que mantengan sus micrófonos en silencio. Eh, porque Juan Carlos puede este, poner su eh. micrófono en silencio, por favor. Juan Carlos. Perdón. Ok, guys, eh, tratemos de mantener nuestros micrófonos en silencio para que no se escuche el background noise. Si usted está trabajando o si usted sabe que alguien está platicando a la par suya, si alguien está viendo televisión, si usted sabe que el perro está allí ladrando, eh, trate de a, a buscar un lugar donde se escuche silencio para no perturbar la clase, ok? Por favor. 
Okay, vamos con Delmi. Sorry, Delmi, no le escuché nada. Repeat, please. Oh, él va. My brother. My brother doesn't live with he has an with apartment. Us. With us. With, with uh, us. us. Uh -huh. Okay. My brother doesn't live with us. He has an apartment in the city. Perfect. He has an apartment in the city is correct. Good job. Thank you. Uh, the next one, please. Uh, ¿Quién quiere participar? Creo que Catherine levantó la mano. Okay, Catherine. Okay, teacher. Uh, he goes to a school mm -hmm. all day. Very good. Allí la pronunciación sería goes. 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 He goes to mm -hmm. a school all day. Okay. Eh, les voy a dar un, un tip. Cuando usted vea dos vocales, en este caso la vocal es O y la vocal es E. Eh, ese es raro verlo, pero cuando usted vea dos vocales juntas, eh, la pronunciación normalmente es pronunciada la primer vocal. En este caso sería goes. La E no se pronuncia. Goes. Ajá. O por ejemplo, usted dice el verbo bought. Eh, el verbo de comprar. El simple presente sería buy. En simple pasado sería bought. Es un verbo irregular. So aquí no vamos a decir Bought. Vamos a decir bot. Bot. Un robot. Bot. Así se va a pronunciar. Bot. O si usted ve, eh, por ejemplo, ¿cuál sería otra palabra que tiene dos vocales juntas? Digamos. Eh, ah, ok. Red. Moans, 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 right? El verbo moans. Cuando tú sientes un dolor y tú dices, ah, oh, uh, esos son moans. So, ahí vemos dos vocales, o, a, pero no lo pronunciamos moans, decimos moans. Solo es pronunciado el primer vocal. Eh, ok, guys, tengo que tomar asistencia antes de proceder. So, vamos a hacer eso ya. Eh, cuando llame su nombre, por favor, diga presente. O si usted ve que su compañero está en clase, pero no ha respondido, pero dijo presente, eh, por favor, me avisa. Okay, let's go to Anna eh, Yanes. Present teacher. Excellent. Anna Yanes is present. Press Oi, present. Thank you. Eh, Anna Perez. Present. Thank you. Austin. Present. Excellent. Blanca. Present teacher. Okay. Brian. 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 Brian Blanco. Escribió en el grupo. No, este en el chat. Sí, ahí escribió el chat de Zoom. Oh, ya lo vi. Ok, ya lo vi. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Uh, vamos con Christian. Present. Thank you. David Rodriguez. Here. Ok, good, good. David Ramos. Present. All right. Deborah 
Present teacher. Thank you, Deborah. Uh, tell me. Present teacher. Thank you, tell me. Diego. Diego Mendoza. Diego Mendoza, absent, okay. And vamos con Edwin. Present teacher. Excellent. Elba. Present. Good job. Eric. Present. Excellent. Um, Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Romero. Present. Good job. Jessica Serrano. Present teacher. Yes. Um, George Lopez. George Lopez. No sé si escuché un present. Ok, se lo escucha muy lejos el George López, pero lo escuché. Eh, let's see, este no ha venido. Ok, eh, José Leiva. José Leiva. All right, José Leiva, esta es la tercera opción. Juan Lopez. Present. Okay, thank you, Juan. Catherine Funes. Present. Thank you. Catherine Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent. Catherine Portillo. Present teacher. Good. Laura. Present teacher. All right. And Lorena. Good job. All right, so it looks like only two people absent. That's good. Good attendance. Excellent attendance. Good job, guys. Okay, let's continue. Vamos a continuar. Bien rápido se ve el tiempo. It's crazy. <laughs> Is it raining where you live? Está lloviendo donde viven? Yes. No, teacher. No. No. No, no teacher. No. It's only cloudy. Yeah. Aquí ya empezó. Oh. Yeah. Hace aquí ya se, aquí ya se Ay, quitó. Sí. Ya se quitó, ok. Solo arruinarme el internet, vino. <laughs> Nada Aquí bueno. Ya viene. Ah, sí. <laughs> ok, good job. All right, guys, let's go ahead and finish the activity. Vamos con. And he. Let me have. Um, Edwin. Edwin, let me have. This one right here. Yes, teacher. Ahorita we told you that tuve problemas con el teléfono. Okay, go ahead. Let's go. No, no, no. Alguien que le puede ayudar a Edwin. No, no, no. no. And he does his homework at night. And he does his homework at night. Good job, Edwin. Uh, go ahead. Let me see the next one. Catherine Portillo. Number three. Yes. Um, I? La primera. Yes. La, de, la, la tres. Correct. Okay. I have a new friend. I have a new friend. Very good. I have a new friend. Excellent. Uh, Juan Carlos, the next one. 
his name. His name is Jason. We go to the same school. Very good. We go to the same school because it's plural. All right. Ana Ruth, uh, the next one. And sometimes we do our homework together. Excellent. And sometimes we do our homework together is correct. All right. So these are some examples, guys, of the irregular verbs. Obviamente no son todos, hay más. Eh, pero hay más regular verbs que irregular verbs. So that's something good. Eh, any questions? Does anybody have there, any questions at this moment? Is there, yes. Is there, yes. How do you pronounce, how do you pronounce, uh, it is spelled T-H-O-U-G-H-T, Toe? Thought. 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 Think. Thought. Think. 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 Thought. 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 Let's look at the following one, which is section 1.8, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to form simple present questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So, vamos a ver preguntas con el presente simple. Let's listen to the video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form simple present questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. We just heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answer. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Do equals to I, you, we and they. Does equals to he, she, and it. This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, she, and it. Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. For yes or no questions, do or does plus subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus a subject plus a verb plus some kind of complement. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on your screen. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. 
Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. On the left side of the chart, you can see yes or no questions. So if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for yes or no questions, do or does, plus the subject, plus some kind of verb, plus a compliment. Uh, we're going to take the first example. Do you get up early? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And early is the complement. And of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. The next question. Does is the auxiliary verb. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch at noon is the complement. Of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. Now, let me show you WH questions. Once again, if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus some kind of verb plus some kind of complement. Uh, let me select the first question on the right side of the chart. What time do you get up? What time is the WH word? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And let's just analyze one more example. What time does he have lunch? What time is the WH word? Does is the auxiliary. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice these concepts by making as many examples of your own as you possibly can. All right. Now, for this activity, what I would like for you to do is we're going to write at least three examples with WH questions. Vamos a escribir tres ejemplos with WH questions. And we're going to write three examples with do or does. Y lo vamos a escribir aquí abajo en el discussion forum. In pairs. You will have five minutes. One person can share the screen. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. We're going to change partners. Ready? Let's go. Elba tiene que darle click donde dice join.
Uh, Jose Alcides, you will work with Ana Delmi and Ana. You can work in pairs. You can work in pairs. Pueden trabajar en pareja. Okay. Creo que aquí está. Que no, puedo compartir. no puedo compartir la, la pantalla. Oh, that's okay. Eh, Lo puede escribir en su libreta. Y okay. pueden compartir sus ideas. Ok. Eh, Jessica Elizabeth, no sé si estás ahí. Hola, hola, hola. Ah, ok. Sí, aquí estoy. Pueden trabajar juntas. Um, yo tengo una, Jessica. Eh, ¿Sí? La que tengo es What What time do you have lunch? ¿A qué horas almuerzas? Pero yo lo que That's a good example. What time do you have what lunch? What time do you have lunch? Okay, that's a good example. Good example. Okay. Tres, tres, mm -hmm. three the W questions, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Three WH questions y three do does. Mm -hmm. Mm Wow. Well. Is everybody finished? Ah, uh, teacher, como dijo usted que le tendríamos que poner a la el tema, el subject. WH questions. WH questions. All right, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back, guys, welcome back. We are finished for today. All right, if you didn't finish, that's going to be your homework. Uh, please continue working on the activities, continue working on the videos, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Enjoy. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Que disfruten la lluvia. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Sure. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.